everyone, it's Misty here from The Jolly Foot Elf. Welcome back to another video. Happy Friday. I'm so excited that it's the weekend before Christmas. I cannot believe that. My family's coming tomorrow so we can celebrate and I'm so excited. So I am making you a couple of cards using the limited edition Simon Says Stamp kit. Um, I really thought that the other one would just, I would just go gaga over it, but um, I actually love this one more. It's so crazy. So I pulled out this um, typography pattern. Um, for those of you who are new or who may not know, um, I am obsessed with typography and plaid. <laughs> so this card is the embodiment of my time at Christmas. Um, if I ever showed you an up close picture of my Christmas tree, which I am still planning on doing a house tour, by the way, um, a lot of my ornaments are typography. I just love the look of it and I love the look of it for Christmas. And I especially love this chalkboard kind of art. Um, Echo Park does black at Christmas very, very well. Um, I remember I was obsessed with the Tis the Season pack. If you guys remember that from five years ago, I think. We had a little Scotty dog. Oh my gosh, obsessed. I loved that paper and I hoarded it forever. But yeah, Echo Park does good Christmas for sure. So I cut down, I think this is Schoolhouse Red. That Simon Says Stamp included in this kit, um, and I cut it down to four and a quarter by eleven, squared it at five and a half. I'm actually going to have a layer on this card, so the basic black measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths, and then the plaid measures four by five and a quarter. And of course, I have a Whisper White inside card layer that's going to go inside this red. Um, seeing this footage, I decided that I do need to invest in a Teflon bone folder at some point in my life. Um, I mean, I've needed to, but I always either forget about it or, um, you know how it goes when you think you need something and then you forget to put it in your cart and Simon doesn't save your cart, which I wish they would, but whatever. So yeah, so cherry cobbler is almost an exact match for this schoolhouse red. So I decided to use this cherry cobbler ribbon from Stampin' Up. I love the X side. It's my favorite. I don't know that you'll ever see me using the double stitch side. But once I get this adhered, I'm going to go ahead and add the um, what is going to be a Christmas ornament to the card. This card was so stinking simple and easy. Um, if you had the 12 by 12 pack of this paper, you can make a ton, a ton of these and use them as your Christmas cards. So I left in the footage of me tying a bow <clears throat> because so many of you say you're like, oh, you make it look easy. <laughs> And you don't realize how many minutes of footage I cut out of me trying to tie a bow. So the tricky thing with this ribbon is that it's double-sided. And I want the knot and I want both of the loops to all look the same. So what I end up doing is I kind of twist it um, before I put it back in um, through the hole. And I will show you guys that in another video I'll do... Um, um, a bow tying tutorial maybe. Um, and here I'm trying to make it even with the X's and then I realize that's not going to work because of the way the knot. Um, I'm going to adhere this with some tear and tape. Now, if you watched any of my prior videos, I was obsessed with adding it with glue dots, but I've decided that I prefer it with actually with tear and tape. Um, you can also use score tape. <clears throat> now, the one thing to know about it, when it's down, it's down. So you saw me having to move... <laughs> the um, circle up because the dimensionals will move that tearing tape will not move so um, these cards were made after the cards that you're going to see next week so I was just about out of Wincostella you have to forgive my voice I just woke up not too long ago um, <clears throat> excuse me and I was trying to decide what I wanted to add to this and then I remembered we had these stickles that came in the kit so I added some of the red stickles around and I really love how quick and simple this card was. Again, you could you could probably make 30 of these in an hour. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. So yeah. So the next one um, is my more non-traditional card. And here I am using a sponge dauber to test out the festive berries. Um, it was a little too dark for what I wanted. So I brought in Blushing Bride from Stamping Up. Um, I'm gonna be heat embossing um, on this card using the antique gold embossing powder that came in this kit. And to me, it looks way more copper than it does gold. Maybe it's more brass. I don't know, but it leans more copper to me. And I love 
copper, pink, and navy. That's I just love that color combo. So um, that's what I'm doing here. So I use my sponge dauber to kind of create a sponge background. And then I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. And I'm going to bring in all of those beautiful snowflakes from this um, stamp set. Now, don't forget that you can purchase the stamp set separately over at Simon Says Stamp. So um, even though if you didn't get the kit and you can, I think you can purchase basically everything separately. And when you click on the listing, um, it just does say that it's sold out, but it does tell you everything that came in the kit. So you can purchase it. So one thing to realize, or one thing for those of you who are new, um, when you're creating a background like this, or if you're deciding if you're using embellishments, etc., you want there to be an odd number. For some reason, odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. So here you can see I have an odd number of snowflakes that I'm going to stamp. I'm going to use an embossing buddy, or you can purchase an anti-static tool. I think Eco, not Eco Tools, let's make up. Um, what is it? Is it Eco Tools? I don't remember. Anyway, it has um, one that has like powder coming out. You can also use like a used um, fiber softener sheet. Um, I can't tell you how well that works because we don't use them. We use fabric softener. So yeah. I used the new Simon Says, well, it's not new, but the Simon Says Stamp embossing ink that came in the kit, and it worked just just fine. I liked it, so um, when I can't find my um, Versamark, or if the Versamark needs to be re-inked, I can use this as a backup. So I'm going to bring in my heat gun from Stampin' Up, and you're just going to see how beautifully this melts, and how much it looks like copper. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell from here, but you can really see it in the photographs. So I love it. These snowflakes are just so gorgeous. And like I said, I'm a little disappointed that I ran out of time to use this kit because I could probably make 100 cards using this kit, no problem. Um, I love the paper. I love this stamp set. It's just right up my alley. So um, if we didn't, if I didn't run out of days, then I probably would have used it. But you will see me use it again next year for sure. Um, so I'm excited about that. So here's one of the reasons why I love this stamp apparatus. Um, like I, I just pulled the plate off and flipped it over and now I'm going to stamp the joy to the world sentiment. Um, and you have to be extra careful because those magnets are so like strong. I had to end up, <laughs> I was like about to pull my finger off. So yeah, so I'm stamping this the same way I did those snowflakes. I'm going to heat this, um, melt this off camera and then we'll move on to assembly of our card. Oh, just look how pretty that is on the navy. I just love it. Love, 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 love. So speaking of navy, I cut down a piece of Blushing Bright to five and a half by eight and a half. I squirted it at four and a quarter. Then I cut down a piece of Night of Navy, so it's an eighth of an inch smaller, so four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Um, both of these cards have an eighth of an inch border, and sometimes that happens. So, of course, the white piece is four by five and a quarter. Um, I did not insert a white panel this time because this color is so light. I don't think you, I don't think it needs it. And there's probably a lot of them that are so light that it doesn't need it. But sometimes, like I said, I kind of like the finished look of that on the inside. Once I get that attached, I'm going to go ahead and add dimensionals to the back of our sentiment. I'm going to pull those off and then I'm going to get that adhered. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much. I will see you guys on Christmas Eve for more cards. Bye for now.